Hi, real quick review, deck review for the Pocket Linen Mall by Alexandre Muslick. You can get this deck at angelcardomancy.com. He also has an Etsy site, Angel Cardomancy. I have to tell you, I really, really love this deck. I didn't think that much of the, the, the alternative size before I got it. And now that I have it, even before I got it out of the packaging, I totally fell in love with this square two and three quarter inch by two and three quarter inch um, deck. It's it's very easy to manipulate in my hand. So I mean I can I can twist it in all sorts of different directions. Of course now like the cards are jumping out of like play with. Um, but I can twist it around. I have you know very um, typical female hands. So it, <clears throat> if you're looking for kind of a comparison to his male hands in his video. This is my little, my little, no, my normal female hand. So, but this is a great deck to shuffle. Great deck to shuffle. Um, again, I really hope that he makes more cards with this square design. And it came, you know, with these cute, cute, you know, the intro cards. Just kind of like the back, a little more information and the thank you congrats for purchasing card I won this deck and I was not expecting this and this just brings me warm fuzzies thank you so much Alex a beautiful beautiful um, customized card for me thank you um, this this is really gonna become a, a quick favorite of mine we're already best friends because I can play with it in my hands which means lots of energy goes into it I love the back. It's very simple, very, you know, elegant. The front, very, again, very simple, so this is great for large readings. It's got all the information that you're looking for, so it's great for beginners all the way to advance. You've got, you know, obviously the, it's one symbol per card, the number, the name, and then the pips. And also, as you can see with the child in the scythe here, you can see that the face cards pop right out at you. I'll bring it up a little closer compared to a pip on either side with, you know, the multiple, but it's easy to sit, uh, easy to tell that the spades from the diamonds, from the clovers, from the hearts, um, but the face cards jump right out at you if you're looking for people. It's got directionals, you know, it's just one, you know, the fox is red, so you've got your red-headed card there. There's not a single card in here that I'm going to confuse with another one which is nice. I love this clouds card. The dog card, the rider is in movement, you know, which is important for so many people because the rider is talking about movement. Um, the heart is not flat. I really like this heart. The crossroads talks about choice with the different directions here. Mice, the multiple. The fish card also has multiple. The birds has multiples, um, you know, in case they don't come up. There's the birds. Um, there's the fish, ring, um, the stork, I love this card because it has, it really depicts movement. Um, so to me, this really picks up on the keywords of change, movement, moving, um, in stork, which is great. And again, the face cards are really obvious. The dog card, I love this because of the German Shepherd. Not only do I think this is a great breed choice because I love German Shepherds, but also German Shepherds are all about loyalty. So as a key, as a trigger for me, this, this picture is perfect. Anchor, this is an awesome card and often, you know, very hard to do. From a deck creator's point of view, like, I have to tell you, it's, it's one, one that leaves you looking for a while sometimes. So again, it's great to shuffle. It fits really well in these cute little gift tins if you like to fit your cards in gift tins. Um, the gift tin's a little bit big, you know, but all the gift tins that I use for my cards are a bit bigger than my cards. I find that these square tins are easier to find than the rectangular tins, therefore it makes, again, having this square deck easier to find the perfect tin for it. If you're using a tin, it it stores really well. It stores very conveniently because of its um, square size. And I kind of wish like all my cards were square like this now. And um, it would fit like a nice cute little bookshelf. So <clears throat> I, I love it. I really didn't think that much of 
didn't really give the, the size and the shape of it that much thought um, until I held it in my hand and it was instant, instant, instant love, even before I got it out of the package. Um, and now that I'm flipping it around in my hands, I can feel like how this deck and I, it's going to get a lot of energy into it because I can fiddle with it. So I'm really, I can't tell you, I can't say it enough that I'm really loving this shape. Um, it's also going to, it fans easy. This deck is very easy to fan, very easy to work with. So, love it, love it, love it. And I hope you do too. So again, you can get that at angelcardomancy.com or angelcardomancy at Etsy. And he has a lot of other decks with Linimal and uh, other oracles, angel cards, um, for you to choose from. I have a few of his decks and I've always been impressed with his quality and his work. So, take a look. And thank you for watching.